In this video, we're going to look at how we can have Media Composer automatically open the effect editor whenever we apply an effect. So usually here in Media Composer, whenever we apply an effect, let's just grab something here from New Blue Effects. We'll go for, say, Film Color. I use this one all the time. Well, I've applied my effect, and you're probably used to coming up here to jump into your effect mode, or maybe you come over here to jump into effect mode, or maybe you have a keyboard shortcut. So we applied our effect, then we just jump in to our effect editor here, and we come in and we start making our making our changes, right? That's just been the way we've done it for so long. But now we have an option here in Media Composer 8.9 and above. We have the option to automatically open our effects mode for us as soon as we apply an effect. So to do that, come over here to your uh, project window, make sure your project is open, and come up here to settings. You want to scroll all the way down to timeline, double click that. You'll probably open up here in display. Come over here to your edit tab, look all the way down to the bottom of this list here, and you have a new option. Applying effects opens effect editor. Pretty self-explanatory there, just click that. We'll choose OK, and now let's go back to our effects, and we'll apply the same exact effect on the same clip, and now watch what happens. We'll grab Film Color, we'll throw it right on our clip, and boom, our effect editor immediately opened up. We did not have to apply it here, and then come into our effect mode. Of course, it's going to work with all of your effects. We'll go to Blend here, 3D Warp, drop it on this clip, and right there, we have our effect editor open and ready to start editing. Very cool. Now what if, let's go ahead and actually just remove that, and we'll remove that. We can of course apply multiple effects at the same time just by using a lasso or marquee, whatever you want to call it, around those clips, and just double click, and look what happens. Boom, 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 boom. All of those effects are applied, and it opened the one that's highlighted here at the end, so you're ready to go ahead and start editing, or of course you can just click and come back to the effect you want to start editing right off the bat. All right, so that's the basics of it. Just grab all of these and remove all of them. This also works, of course, with our uh, audio clips. And let's just grab our EQ for now, and I'll just drop it on a clip, and boom, right there it is. Comes right up for us. Again, remove that effect, get rid of that. If I came back here to settings and uh, timeline, double click that and turn that off, hit OK, come back to our audio clips, and we'll come down to one of the great plugins from, from Avid. I use these pro plugins all the time. The compressor, the limiter, they are absolutely great. So let's just say the limiter, we'll just grab it here and throw it on a clip. Hmm, it didn't open. That's because we turned that uh, option off. So we'd have to hop in here manually to our effect mode. Okay, so as you can see, that can be a very, very handy uh, setting there. Back to timeline, turn it back on. Okay, back to our effects. Back to our pro limiter, we'll just grab this, throw it on our clip. Right there, it comes right up for us, and we're ready to start editing this. We'll just put this on full range for now, so now our black. In timeline, and edit tab, and then down here, if you don't see this option, then make sure you update to Media Composer 8.9 or higher. Again, very cool to have that applying effects opens the effect editor right here in Avid Media Composer. Grab one more, throw it on a clip, and boom. We're ready to start making adjustments here with our effect right here in Avid Media Composer. 